All right, hi everyone. So this is probably going to be the last of my Summer of Sonic related videos. Um, I was going to include this in the um, the one that I did uh, uploaded before, the um, one where I looked at the goodie bag and some of the stuff that I picked up on the day. But that video is getting quite long and it was going to be hell to render on my old laptop if I could kept it the length it originally was. And when I was editing it, I saw this and actually thought, I think this deserves its own special video. So here we are. Now, um, the organize, well, the former organizer of the Summer of Sonic event, a Mr. Sven Dreadnooks Jocelyn, and I think that's how you pronounce his name, he, at the end of the day, um, came backstage when the staff were literally just getting ready to go. We'd got all our bags and we were just literally on our way out. And he said, um, all right, I've got a box here. He was carrying in this huge box, and this box was enormous. And he puts it down and says, um, Everybody, this is my Sonic the Hedgehog collection. I have no space for it in my new house. I don't particularly want it anymore. I would like you guys to have it. Please help yourselves. And people went over, they opened up the box, and the first thing that gets pulled out is a white Sega laptop bag and the second thing that got pulled out was a Sonic the Hedgehog 20th Anniversary messenger bag and those things are really rare they were given out as promotional items during Sonic Generations they're very very difficult to get hold of and when people saw this um, some people said uh, Sven are you sure about this and he said yep I'm sure I want you guys to have it and this is what I got. I managed to get a Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games messenger bag. Now as far as I'm aware this wasn't ever released um, anywhere. You couldn't buy it. It was purely a promotional and competition item for the game. So I was quite happy with this and I took a step back from the box and I noticed that nobody else was really taking anything and there was quite a lot of stuff left so I thought oh well I'll see what else I can, I can see that I quite like the look of. And I did actually find one or two gems and one or two items that I just wanted to give a good home to. And the first thing was this. <laughs> now I know what you're all thinking, but I kind of got this because I've just felt sorry for it. No one wanted it. And there is one thing actually I do really like about this book. Um, at the back, it actually has bios on the enemies. So, yeah, I haven't had to give these a good read yet, but I think I will do just because I really like this kind of stuff that gets put into guidebooks and art books. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to give that a read because I, I kind of like it. Yeah, the enemies aren't that iconic, and most of them don't work properly in the game. But it's um, just something that I that, that um, I really like reading. So yeah, I, I'll probably give this a read and then, I don't know, maybe I'll keep it, maybe I'll donate it to, I don't know, a charity shop or something. I, I've not decided yet, but I just wanted to basically take this home. I didn't want it left in the box just because I felt sorry for it. All right, oh, better mention this. Um, this is actually uh, something I got on the day from Special Effect. Oh, there you can see it there now. Um, Special Effect was the charity that we were helping out. Um, they were giving these out to people that donated some money or bought a raffle ticket. And I got one for, well, helping out with the guy, basically, because he um, wanted some help with some stuff, as I've already explained. Okay. Um, aha. I also got these. Now, in the giant box of stuff, there was a box file at the bottom. And inside it was literally tons of these Sonic X trading card packs. So I went around the staff and said, does anybody want any of these? A couple of staff took a few packs, but um, not everybody wanted one. Um, Ferran Rodriguez, the artist that we got from uh, Barcelona, I think he's from, uh, he took a lot of these and said, oh, my children will absolutely love these. So he took a lot for his kids. I took, um, I think, four packs and I gave two to my girlfriend because I know that she, well, she collects Sonic. Sonic stuff as well as me, so I figured she'd like that. So yeah, I gave her those, and I kept these two for myself, and no, I'm not going to open them up. I'm going to keep them in there, just because I want them in there. Alright then, so what else did I manage to find? Aha! Okay, so we've got some lanyards here. Again, these were things that nobody wanted. 
Um, I believe this was actually this is just a standard Sega lanyard. I think it was given out. At, I'm guessing he got this from a previous Summer of Sonic. And the reason why I think that is, this lanyard was definitely used as a Summer of Sonic staff badge, and they were kind of there was three of them, and they were sort of wound up together in a bit of a knot. So. I took these two, um, I gave a Sega lanyard to my girlfriend because I knew she'd really like that and I kept these two. I don't really know why I took this one, just nobody else wanted it and it was sort of wrapped up in a knot. So yeah, lanyards. <laughs> right, um, oh yeah, and this was quite an awesome find. This is one of the first things I picked up and yeah, wait till you see it. It's a copy of Christmas Nights on the Sega Saturn, and it's a Japanese version. Now, I don't know if the Japanese version is considered rarer, more expensive, or whatever. I, I just don't care. I just really wanted... I I've always wanted a copy of Christmas Nights, but that game is really difficult to find. And I've got the Japanese version, which I think is pretty cool. And I've been told the only thing I need to get this working is an action replay code, uh, action replay thing for a Sega Dream, uh, Sega Saturn. So hopefully I might be able to sort that out. The disc is in brilliant condition. It's pretty much as new. I've no doubts at all that this works. Uh, the manual's here and it's just in one awesome condition and it's something I've kind of been after for a while. So yay, I got Christmas nights. I got a... I got a Christmas themed game at an event called Summer of Sonic. That's logic. <laughs> Alright, what else we got in the box? Aha! Now this was another thing that nobody wanted and I genuinely don't know why because I think this looks awesome. This is a copy of Sonic the Hedgehog for the Game Gear and it is in one hell of a good condition. Yeah, there's some slight markings around the box where there's obviously been a sticker or something in the past but just check this out, the box is in really good condition otherwise and do you have an idea how great a condition this is? If you open it up, it's got the manual, the warranty card, the Game Gear games in the case and it's even got the plastic wrap around it. This is a heck of a good condition. I'm, it, even my own copy of this, I'm just going to show you in a minute, is nowhere near this good condition and I'm just amazed that no one wanted this so uh, I thought there would at least be someone there who collects them um, who collects them um, games that would have wanted this for their collection but nobody did so I decided to give it a, a good home now I think this might actually be an American version because I've got here my own PAL version now this is a version I got for Christmas um, back in the day I'm not sure what year it would have been but yeah, um, this is my UK copy, and it works on a UK Game Gear. I don't know if the Game Gear is region free. I don't think it is. I'm not sure on that, actually. But yeah, um, you can tell it's quite different. So I think this might actually be an American copy of the game. But that's not a problem to me at all. I don't mind. Yeah, and the back's different, too. So I don't know. If anybody knows anything about that, please let me know, because I'll be quite curious. This one's, this one's the European edition. Is this the American version? I'm quite sure it is. Anyway, that's that. And finally, this was the last thing that I took, and you guys know how I collect pin badges, right? Well, this is a pin badge I kind of look for every now and again. Um, what it is, is at Summer of Sonic 2009, I think, it might have been 2010, I'm not sure, there was a girl from the Crush 40 fan club, and she was handing out these flyers, and it was a chance, if you joined the Crush 40 fan club, you could have a badge sent out and until, the, until they ran out. And I completely forgot all about it, and I never got a badge, so every now and again I kind of look for it. And I found it. Yeah, this was in the box of stuff he was giving away. And I could not believe it when I saw it. I just took it. I I, I just calmly put my hand in the box and just pulled it out. And I was like, oh my goodness. Now, I don't think it's official or can be seriously classified as an official pin badge. 
purely because it's um, you know from the German Crush 40 fan club, so I'm not sure on how official you could probably call this. But I've wanted one for a while, and what I like about this is, um, whilst you've got uh, John and... Is that Johnny? I'm not sure. It's kind of hard to tell when looking through the plastic and the camera. But what I like is you can just make out Sonic's eyes in the background. And just up here at the top, if it'll focus, we also have Sonic. And that's kind of why I wanted it. I knew it wasn't official, but I just really, really wanted this one. And now I have it. So, yay! He just gave us all this stuff. And I wish I had been there with my camera to show you how big this box was because it really does say a lot about how generous he was to us all. So yeah, um, thank you Mr. Dreadnux or Mr. Jocelyn, whatever you want to be called these days. And yeah, I looked kind of crazy carrying back through the tube system of London, a giant suitcase in one hand, a Sonic the Hedgehog goodie bag in the other, and a Mario and Sonic goodie bag hooked over my shoulder with a copy of Sonic 06 Strategy Guide hanging out. So yeah guys, um, thank you very much for watching, thanks to Mr. Dreadnux for his incredible generosity, I will take care of these, I promise you. And I guess that's all there is to say guys, uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again next time, goodbye.